Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the Illblurmatic, Matic, Matic, Matic. It's the illest blur in the land. Welcome back to Illblur Matic. Welcome back, Legends Community. It's the hardest working blur on YouTube. Let's get into today's new video. Today's new video is something that honestly, I, I, I just can't believe I'm going to eventually say this right now. Like, this is official. <laughs> So, um, we are officially getting a fourth Spider-Man movie. Did you hear what I said? Officially getting a Spider-Man 4 movie. Because I remember years ago when they talked about doing a fourth Spider-Man movie with the original actor Tobey Maguire and with the unsuccessful third movie, which had missed reviews, we never got a fourth <laughs> Spider-Man movie. And to see that we're getting one with the current Gen Spider-Man, Tom Holland, is definitely great to see. And I think that was because of the last two movies being a billion dollar success. Uh, and I am looking forward to this. So let's get into today's new video. Today's new video is pretty much Spider-Man 4 will be a multiverse movie. And characters, uh, Marvel heroes that will appear in Spider-Man 4. So uh, it seems like they're keeping true to what they were saying that after all the multiverse saga is here to stay. I know a lot of people were wondering where they're going to scrap the whole saga, make a whole new, uh, you know what I'm saying? Type of uh, verse for Marvel. And honestly, I'm kind of glad they kind of stuck to what they were saying. So it's good to hear this. Um, and let's talk about pretty much the heroes that will be appearing in spider-man 4 uh and honestly I, i'm not completely surprised by the list but one person in particular i am kind of surprised by so let's get into the first person is no other than daredevil good because <laughs> charlie cox is the pretty much the best daredevil that we've had i can't wait to see the character dynamics between him and peter parker uh, and him being uh, Matt Murdock, you know what I'm saying, the lawyer. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing them work together. I've been wanting to see them work together outside of the cartoon and for them to be in a live adaption together, uh, helping fight the villains in the fourth movie. Good choice. Woo! <laughs> like I said before, I'm like, yo, that, that that's good that they kept him because I see they changed up the lineup as well for this. Um, the next character is someone that had a movie, right? But the last movie was lackluster to most people. I'm not saying all people. And it's no other than Ant-Man. That's an interesting choice. I, I wasn't expecting to hear that Ant-Man was going to be helping Spider-Man and Daredevil um, but I gotta say, uh, the actor that plays Ant-Man does a fantastic job. I can't lie. I was like, you know what? He does a great job playing Ant-Man. He's bodied the role. Uh, and it's an interesting dynamic here. Okay, you got Daredevil. You got Ant-Man. Uh, the character dynamics for the lineup so far are very interesting. Now, let's get to the final choice. The final choice we've actually seen if you paid attention to Spider-Man, uh, No Way, not No Way Home, excuse me, Homecoming, excuse me, Spider-Man Homecoming, she was briefly seen in a school scene right along with Spider-Man's classmates. And who is Ill Blurred Matter talking about? No other than Black Cat. About time, I said, man, the way Sony be blocking villains to be in Spider-Man movies is unheard of. And I'm kind of glad that they have Black Cat. I'm kind of want to see another character dynamic with another character that's maybe a potential love and in interest of Peter Parker. And this works out because the way Spider-Man uh, No Way Home ended, we see that Peter and Mary Jane are not together. So this will be like his new romance or new flame, as some people would call it. But also, she is a crime fighter to herself. So, um, I like this. I like that we finally are getting to see Felicia uh, get her appearance in the movie. Because I did not want to see a standalone Black Cat movie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm like, good. 
<laughs> Sony, you did something right this time. Um, and like I said before, she's been in the very first Spider-Man Homecoming movie, briefly seen in a cameo. And I said, I wonder, are we ever going to see her make her debut in a Spider-Man movie? Uh, I am looking forward to this Spider-Man movie. Hopefully the story's decent and probably it'll take place maybe in between the Avengers movies, most likely, uh, is what they were saying from what I've saw so far. Um, I, I'm definitely looking forward to it. The lineup is definitely solid. Uh, another person that I want to mention, and this is just a mention because this is a multiverse movie, <laughs> and I think this person will make a perfect fit for the movie, is no other than Miles Morales. Like, Sony, if you could put him in this movie, like maybe with him not having powers just yet and introduce him into the storyline, that would be a great way to introduce him into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Then later on, build up on his story so we can see him in his solo movie for Miles Morales Spider-Man. But it is a blur living in the world, guys. You tell me in the comments. Uh, are you excited about this Spider-Man 4 movie? And which character out of the lineup of other heroes were you surprised by that made the lineup for Spider-Man 4? It is a blur, little world, guys. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing the videos, and also watching. Uh, I am out, Legends. Have a wonderful day. And I'm out. <laughs>